Hello, this is Eric Redget 505 and Moto Styles Hobby Shop in Granada Hills, 17540 Chatsworth Street. Uh, okay, I want to do something different today. Uh, I want to help everybody. Um, what I'm doing right now, it's helping people a little bit uh, to know how to prepare and how to protect yourself and others from the coronavirus. So first of all, please, if you run in any small business, retail store, or even go to work for a major company, please try to implement this so we can save lives and stop the stupid disease from spreading no more. So first thing, uh, it's very hard to get sanitizer right now and anywhere else they ran out and it's uh, toilet paper and paper towels and everything ran out. But there's other alternative I'm going to explain. Let's start. Okay, first of all. What we implementing right now in our business? First of all, gloves. First thing first is gloves. You have to have gloves, good gloves. Uh, those gloves are stronger gloves for, for painting actually. The black one and they actually, if you see on the TV, you see a lot of tattoo artists using those because the needle cannot really penetrate as easily and it's easily to remove and, and, and put back. Now, First, have a good pair of gloves for you and have a mask. You need a mask N95. The N95 is for health, out density, like of the material preventing germs from going in. First thing first, put this on your face. Now, please listen carefully right now and watch the video all the way to the end and like and subscribe because this will save your life. You cannot get those. It's very hard. It's getting ridiculous and stupid and expensive. You can make it at home. Listen what you do. You go to Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever a hardware store near you, and you buy air condition filter, the fabric air condition filter or the paper air condition filters. And what you're going to do, you're going to make a piece a little bit bigger than that, draw it on a piece of cardboard, wrap it around your mouth, see how big it is and then just cut the air filter from an air air conditioner okay a brand new one not a used one do not take the one from your ac no don't do that cut it and make your own filter there will be better filter the filter for the air condition with the black padding those are carbon filter they're a million times better than this they will actually prevent chemicals that's being said let start so i'm going to put my mask on and then i'm going to show you a couple things i want to do hello okay so first thing first anywhere you go to any store they will have a register or a tablet they take in your money and you will put your credit card in type i shut it off for a second you see all the fingerprint on it all those fingerprints are prints of other people. I did that earlier because I clean it every day. Other people that touch that. If someone sick touch anything and then you touch it, you're going to get sick. So what do you need to do? You need to sanitize that. If you don't have sanitizer, you can actually spray rubbing alcohol on top of a paper towel and just wipe it. Now, let me show you how to make sanitizer at home. Very simple. Take an old Windex bottle, okay? The Windex bottle makes sure that you kind of halfway full with water, fresh water from the faucet. You don't need a bottle of water for it, okay? Then, you're gonna get highest uh, percent rubbing alcohol. This one is 91%. If you get a 50% rubbing alcohol, do not put water, just put alcohol and maybe one ounce of water. We take this and we're going to pour it in. We're going to put a generous amount of it. Okay. More or less up to here. There is no certain measurement or anything. Okay. Then take a pine sole or any other soap. You can even use uh, dishwashing soap if the manual one and pour a little bit in okay now let's put those aside close it good and mix it what we did right now we create our own surface sanitizer so now 
We have a new sanitizer. I pour a little bit here. I can already wipe it because what I pour is soap. It's perfect. I'm already cleaning my surfaces. So, this being said, I have right now the tablet that you all sign when you pay. I'm going to spray a little bit on a napkin and go and wipe it, okay? Don't put too much water or alcohol so you're not going to ruin your tablet. Then, take a brand new one, dry one. Wipe it completely all around. Now it's completely clean and there is no worry that someone else will touch it and get sick. This is going to go aside. The same thing you're going to do to your car charging machine. Now, after we're done with every customer, this can go sideways right now. What we're implementing at the shop right now, after every customer that come, to the shop we will spray all the surfaces let it sit for a minute okay do not spray glass surfaces or any other surfaces and wipe them right away let it sit let the alcohol work and kill everything over there alcohol with a pine salt will clean everything it's actually you can smell it how clean it's gonna be because the pine salt smell good rub it really good clean it And now you're ready for your next customer and you say, oh, I'm not on in a business. You need to do this at home. If you have kids and the kids coughing and they come back from school and they coughing, you're going to have to let them clean everything. Each time they cough in somewhere, you have to go and clean it. All the surfaces at home with the same method. You don't need to go and spend $100 on a hand sanitizer. This work much better and you can clean your hands with it now. The old paper towels, what you can do before you throw them away so you don't change your gloves every 10 seconds. You're gonna grab this and you're gonna wash your gloves with the alcohol and this is what's cool about those gloves that you dry them and then they are completely sanitized and you can actually wash them under the sink and you're good to go for the next round with the customers and your area is clean now i want to teach another method and i will talk and let's see let's put the camera toward me this time i usually don't like to be on the camera but we have to do that this time another way to make those masks very simple you can take a towel okay if you're at home or you're going out or the epidemic got really bad and we don't have a choice we have to do that what you're gonna do you're gonna take a paper towel and you're gonna take also a fabric piece like a towel like a fabric towel soak them with a little bit of warm water that you put baking soda in you're gonna mix water and baking soda for every cup of water you're gonna put two big spoon of baking soda and mix it good and squeeze it put it again and squeeze it and then wrap it around your mouth as long as it's wet it will protect you from any germs trying to get in uh, it's work better than anything else this trick with the baking soda I want to say where it came from and why it's important uh, I used to grow up in Israel at, uh, at the time of the Gulf War and we used to get bombed by Iraq with chemical weapon and this was one of the option if you did not get a time to your mask if you did not get enough time to run home and put your gas mask on and you have the option of having this this is, was an alternative to help a little bit if it was good at the time that you recommend to do this against like certain gases I'm sure that it will work against uh, coronavirus uh, hopefully that it's gonna work and again it's giving I uh, given my opinion my knowledge I'm sharing it with you please do something with it so we can protect one another also big big deal I gone this morning to Costco and to another market to try to buy water the line around those places okay there is 2,000 people crowding all around a market okay when this is happening and you have 2,000 people crowding around a market most likely there is a person sick over there 
and everybody crowded together and you, someone gonna cough at you and then you're infected and then everybody in the line infected and all their family is infected and then from one person we have 2,000 people got infected and they're gonna go home and it will multiply triple five times whatever stay away from all those big places stop panicking and going and buying everything on the shelf you have water in the faucet the faucet water will not go bad and you can go and buy a water filter and filter the water at home any house have some food in the refrigerator in the cabinet it will be enough for you for three weeks to a month people are going crazy right now and this is how we're gonna get sick when you have thousands of people running every five minutes to a business to buy stuff I was shocked today to see that I gone to Costco and I was the only guy get out of my car and walk to the line and see nobody was with a glove nobody was with a mask I just walked away I just walked away uh, are we have enough food at home I did not worry about it I just walked away so please stop with the madness you go outside and you go to all those busy businesses Costco Walmart Ralph whatever you crowd in those places with more people more people are gonna get sick they don't have hand sanitizer they don't have uh, those those baby wipers to clean the, the carts anymore you're gonna come back home sick and infect more people so please stop it start being silly stay away live your life normally buy whatever you need when you need it when when people go crazy right now it's not gonna it's not gonna help anything it's just make it worse and you're gonna get sick this is how you spread the disease and please if you do go to those places gloves and mask very important and another very important message to everybody everybody even coming to my shop we implement in a coronavirus protection here we get in one customer at a time with appointment so we can sanitize everything after we asking you to keep your kids at home kids come and touch stuff and if the kid the kid is sick from school or anything we will spread it to other customer and to other kids also adults we ask you if you're sick stay at home if your kid is sick leave him at home right now and this time leave your kids at home go shop for them nothing will happen if the kids not going to get the color of cars that you want or helmet or color of, of another toy or, or food do whatever you need to do to get whatever you need but try to keep your kids at home so they stay protected a lot of you people don't understand how important it is and I will give an example that I have yesterday a family with five kids came into the shop and touch everything here some of the kids were coughing I was sanitizing my entire shop it took me two hours to go over everything cleaning the floor the helmet all the RC cars if I wouldn't do that someone else will come and touch it and take someone home and get sick please 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 pay attention stop panicking don't take your kids places you can leave them at home if you need to stay at home please stay at home nothing will happen if you lose like three or four hundred dollar in two weeks for for your paycheck nothing will happen you will be fine if you go to places and you're gonna get sick and die all your money in the world will never fix it this is Eric Redjet 505 motor style shop in Granada Hills 17540 Chatsworth Street if you need anything we are here call us before 323-496 5757 five, set up an appointment and you can come and we guarantee that it's one person at a time nobody will be around you you can enjoy your, your sh shopping over here clean shopping sanitized you will be go home safe you will have a toys and you will need toys for your kids because they're going to be out of school see you in my next video